In this video, we will be talking about the installation of the Hyphonix audio roof for the Kawasaki Terex KRX 4 passenger. Make sure to reference the manual throughout the installation process for additional details ensuring proper installation. Step 1. If the vehicle is already equipped with a factory roof, we want to remove this roof per the roof instructions. Next, we will remove the two push pins in the top pocket and the two push pins on the top of the dash. Step three, remove two Phillips screws on the lower dash. Step four, disconnect the wiring from the switches and interactive display or radio. Step five, assemble the rivet nut tool. Install the mandrel and then the collar. Step seven, with the tool in the open position, thread one M6 rivet nut onto the mandrel fully. The threads should be to the base of the rivet nut. Eight, install an M6 rivet nut into both holes, as seen on page six of the manual. These will be on the upper front of the ROPS. You will compress the tool until the rivet nut is fully compressed, and then unthread the tool to remove from the rivet nut. You will repeat this process on the other side. Step nine. Step 10. Disconnect the light bar from the connector. Using a six millimeter Allen wrench, remove two bolts securing the light bar and set the light bar aside. Step 11. Remove two M10 by 33 millimeter bolts securing the light bar brackets using a 16 millimeter socket and remove the bracket from the bottom side of the roof. 12. Install the front brackets of the previous step using two M6 by 22 millimeter bolts and hand tighten into the rivets. 13, assemble one M6 by 18 millimeter bolt and one M6 washer under the head of the bolt. Install through the hole in the frame, up through the front bracket and the second M6 washer on the top of the bracket. 14, now you can go back and torque two M6 bolts into the rivets. Do this for both sides. 15. Torque down the M6 and nylock nut and complete front bracket assembly. 16. Install the four rubber pads, 30 millimeter by 24 millimeter, to the roof in the locations seen below on page eight of the manual. Step 17, install two rubber pads, 60 millimeter by 24 millimeter onto the smaller U-brackets. Install two rubber pads, 70 millimeter by 24 millimeter onto the larger U-brackets. Step 18, install four 155 millimeter long foam strips on the sides of the roof and the longer 305 millimeter foam strip by the woofer between the two rubber pads. Step 19, flip the roof over, install the foam rubber seal into the channel at the rear of the roof. Step 20, grab a friend to help place the roof onto the vehicle. Take note that the wire harness goes to the inside of the ROPS. 21. Install the two light bar brackets back onto the roof with the two M10 
by 30 millimeter bolts with a 16 millimeter socket. Tighten to a snug fit. Step 22. Install two six millimeter hex bolts into the light bar with the serrated washers between the light bar and bracket with a six millimeter Allen wrench. Step 23, plug the light bar connector in. 24, install the passenger and driver side U bracket around the ROPS with a 2.5 millimeter Allen wrench, one side at a time. Alternate between each M4 fastener until torqued. Step 25. Install the middle, smaller U bracket around the ROPS with a 2.5 millimeter Allen wrench. Again, one side at a time. Step 26. Install the four rubber pads, 30 millimeter by 24 millimeter, onto the roof in the noted locations on page 11 of the manual. Twenty-seven. Install the two rubber pads, 60 millimeter by 24 millimeter, onto the smaller U brackets, centering them. Install the two rubber pads, 70 millimeter by 24 millimeter, onto the larger U brackets, starting at the shorter end and working your way back toward the longer side of the bracket. Install all seven foam strips on the sides of the roof as shown on page 12 of the manual. Step 29. Grab a friend to help place the rear of the roof onto the vehicle. Then connect the wiring between the front and rear sections. and slide the rear forward, sandwiching the wiring in between the two roofs. Step 30. Install the passenger and driver side larger U-bracket around the ROPS with a 2.5 millimeter Allen wrench, again alternating between each M4 fastener until torqued. 31. Install the rear smaller U-bracket around the ROPS with a 2.5 millimeter Allen wrench, following the same process as before. Step 32. Install the driver's side middle M8 by 35 bolt washer and rubber washer. Repeat this process on the passenger side. 33. Install the driver's side rear M8 by 35 bolt washer and rubber washer through the two roof halves with washer and nylock nut using a 33 millimeter socket and open box wrench. Again, repeat on the passenger side. Step 34, use a pull wire for ease of passing the harness through the ROPS. Step 35, Using electrical tape, secure the connectors along the pull cable so that they don't snag while passing the harness down the ROPS. Thirty-six. Place the harness into the channel of the roof between the roof and ROPS and secure it with a zip tie. Thirty-seven. Pass the harness into the dash at the bottom of the ROPS and route towards the center of the dash. 38. Crimp fuse holder to the red wire and use a heat gun to shrink the connector. 39. Locate the bus bar in the center dash area. Pull back the red and black protective boots, exposing the studs. Attach the yellow ACC wire to the keyed 12-volt power source from the roof harness. 
Attach the red 12 volt wire to the constant 12 volt power source at the center terminal. Finally, attach the black ground wire to the right passenger side ground terminal. Step 40. If pre-existing audio is present, then the three supplied Y adapters are needed to split the audio and remote between the new roof and the existing audio system. If you're not adding to an existing audio system, the speaker harness splitters will not be used. Locate the blue remote wire at the radio and connect it to the blue wire from the roof harness. At the radio, locate the JST connector and connect it to the front red taped JST connector from the roof harness. At the radio, locate the JST connector rear. This will include the green, the green and black, purple, and purple and black wires. And connect to the rear green taped JST connector from the roof harness. Again at the radio, locate the JST connector entitled sub. This will be the orange, orange and black, brown, and brown and black wires. And connect to the sub white taped JST connector from the roof harness. Step 41. Connect the wiring to the switches and interactive display or radio. Turn on the vehicle and test the audio roof for functionality. Step 42. Install two push pins in the top pocket. 43. Install the two push pins on the top of the dash. And finally, step 44. Install two Phillips screws on the lower dash. With this step complete, your Hyphonics audio roof system for your Kawasaki KRX 4 passenger is complete. Thanks for watching the installation video, and we'll see you next time.